Hello, this is Alpha62 and welcome back to Xenonauts. And right now we've got those two crash sites from the end of the previous video and we're on the way to crash site 12 and then 11 on the way back if it's still there. So we are clear to engage, I think. Well, let's take a look if anyone's not wearing jackal armor or is wearing jackal armor. If they wear it here, that means... Okay then, the um, Jekyll Arm is on mission. Charlie 1, new target, crash site, engage. So, once my team lands, just do a quick check around the area as always. Um, well, I do encounter an alien quite early on, and you see there, there it is. So I can't really do anything right now, so... I'm just preparing people for the next turn. Get everyone into cover. Hope, hoping for the best, really. So, under the concept that if it can't shoot me too well, then, um, well, if I can't shoot it, it can't shoot me. So, everyone's getting into position, just checking out what's inside that little hut. So, um, get an LNG to help overwatch the large area. And end turn. So, just see what that alien does, and it just runs off. And not too long from now, I'll get myself into a minor situation. Hmm. Right, I can't do what I wanted to do, so I'm going to have to be out in the open. Can't take a shot from there, can I? If I can't take the shot, he can't take the shot. Right, that's that. Um, right. Get the Gaudi LMG to recon this portion of the map, which seems nice, very nice. Um, ah, you really can't go anywhere. You should be out of visual range and shooting range of the alien, in theory. So I'll leave you there. Let's go f chase this alien down. Oh, that's what he shot at. That civilian. Okay. Right. Can I take the shot now? I can take a shot. 80% chance miss. Okay. <coughs> this is why I don't like playing games with um, random number generators. Because random n number generators don't like me at all. There was a time I stood a an, a guy with a shield right next to someone, um, right next to an alien, at point blank range, with 95% chance of shooting, not hitting, and they missed twice. So that does show that percentages cannot always be relied upon, from my experience. Alright, so now the immediate threat is this thing over here, which I can't do anything about because everyone has moved in some way. Let's waste some time units on the newbies, just because they can't do anything anyway for the next turn if they do something else. Um, no, look forwards, you can climb the fence. Um, you can take one step forwards I believe, yep, there we go, end turn. So our snipers, the sharpshooters, who, oh. Okay. It took out the bush. And the shield. Okay, that's not good. <coughs> we have an injury. Civilian runs towards the aliens. That is perfectly logical. It's not like... And then the guy with a gun runs away from the aliens. Yeah, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. <coughs> of course it does. Okay, since we got a problem. Okay, there's the enemy spacecraft. We got at least two aliens over here. Okay. This is the problem about having bad snipers. They can't hit anything. <laughs> right. How many TUs does it take? 32. So I'll do a 
35, so 36 will be enough. Crouch there. 50%, I'll take it. Right. Now we've got someone here who doesn't need immediate medical attention because he's actually fairly healthy. But he needs to get the hell out of there. Um, let's just waste his time units on the way back. Okay, we've got someone in the open. Now we can get a light machine gun out somewhere. Um, can I shoot there without shooting the teammate? Yes. I don't know if that worked, but... It may have suppressed the enemy, it may not, but I'd rather try and suppress the enemy than not do anything at all. So after the encounter on that right, on the central flank, um, the left side, I've discovered where the enemy spacecraft is. So because of that, I'm creating a front line with snipers and w um, whatever I happen to have left. Um, I decided to gas one of the civilians on this turn, just because I'd like to take them out of the game so they don't die. And they, it also saves me on that timer on hidden movement. Um, on this, on the end of this turn, I end up, well, partly through this turn, I end up finding out there's quite a few enemies on the field. Um, kind of catches me by surprise and completely off guard. Oh crap! They're coming in force. Okay, we got three aliens, right? I did not expect an alien to be over here, so we got a major problem. We're gonna have to run someone back. Um, let's send back one of my soldiers from one of my um, best on the field. We'll keep the newbish team on the front line. I'm sure I had someone else good. Did I just did I pull out everyone good? Oh, you were good, but you're not high rank. That might be why I didn't notice. Okay, the rookie snipers are on a defensive mission, no one can cross this side of the line. Alright. Hay bale's too good piece of cover so I can't shoot over it, which hopefully means they can't shoot over it either. Trying to get a flank shot there, but missed. I think I should have sent the newbies back because they're armed with sniper rifles and that does mean they can get shots from longer range. But at the same time, they're also the team that are slowest, which does mean that they won't might not make it in time in other words. Let's see. Right. She can't get there, which means he can. So he'll be on standby for her next turn. Um, she can get there. I know that's really bad cover, but I'd rather have something than nothing. And I'd rather have him in a better place um, than a worse off place. Okay. I thought it uh that ruined everything. Alright, when I clicked him to run I thought he already passed her, but because it lagged a bit, he kind of slowed down and when I moved her up, kind of wasted time units trying to walk around them. Alright then, let's take a look at how things are currently going. I can't shoot, so I am going to go for a gas grenade. Well, I can shoot, but it's just the accuracy is too bad. Um, can you shoot from here? Yes, you can. Take the shot. Get some experience. Maybe kill him. Light machine gun. Side strafe. One. And load an entire clip. Keep the enemy suppressed, and we are good to go. 
So that alien cannot run very far, so there's a good chance it will remain in the toxic gas cloud. You can go and see if that alien's moved forwards a bit. Oh crap, it has. Alright then, we may have a problem. You ruined everything. You just ruined everything. You're gonna have to hide and enter. Alright then. That kinda went a bit a bit um a bit unexpected. You know when I said the alien will be suppressed and cannot run very far? Because of that it chose to shoot. Because it chose to shoot, it didn't stand in a place where it was going to die. Right, this is this is interesting, right? There's an alien. I ran past this area, so you stand there. Alright, this is just... Fire? Really? Alright. Because you're a bad shot, let's take some newbie, sh newbie shots. Okay. Right. Oh, I have to walk all the way around that. Okay, I'll take that. Bang. Target is down and I just remembered there's an alien just around this corner and may shoot him on the next turn. Okay, problem. Do I have flashbangs on her? No. Okay. What do you hold? One smoke grenade. I will use it. Now we got some kind of cover. Not a lot, but still something. Um, we've got people who may be screwed on the front line, so let's follow it up if it does get absolute pear shapes. Um, sniper is good enough as it is. I'll move her up there because someone decided to take a bite out of this hay bale, which I can take the advantage of by shooting over it. Crouch. <clears throat> okay. Since she's got nothing to do other than nothing, she needs experience to run around. Let's go and pick up something random. She can't pick anything up at all. That's okay. Alright, that alien is not in anywhere that you can see on the screen. So it must be around the corner, hiding in some way. Um, you know what, I'm going to move her forwards to see if she sees the a enemy. Okay, actually I'm not because she can't see the enemy. Alright, and turn. We'll see how this goes. Really? Uh. So when you throw down a smoke grenade, it doesn't guarantee anything. Unless it's because the, well, that suppressor fire is very inaccurate, the smoke makes it even less accurate. Oh crap, he's bleeding. <sighs> okay. Do you have a med kit? Please have med kits. Y yes, you do have a med kit. Alright, this is going to be absolutely dependent on what's going to happen. Okay. You're going to go out take a shot. You can't take a shot. Not a good enough shot. Okay. You can take an okay shot. But miss. Okay, that's what I expected. We have a bit of a situation here. Major situation. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. 
he's going to bleed out if I don't do anything straight away. So I'm going to have to heal him. So med kit used. He's probably going to panic on the next turn anyway. Can't even get off a pistol shot with the remaining time units. Okay. At least he's crouched now. It's a good chance he might die on the next turn. I might have to hide him in the dropship from this point onwards. Yeah, um, you're going to have to be on standby for the next move. I want your shotgun. I want your shotgun. Don't need it, but... Okay, that'll save me time in the long run. For some reason she won't crouch. Crouch? Nope, okay then. Fine. Don't listen to me. Right, you're gonna be watching the craft again. Um, we need someone back as soon as possible. I think that'll have to be you. Because light machine gun's useless. Okay, you're clear now, so you can run over here and cover the front. Got a phone call, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was um, fairly annoying, along with this situation I am faced with now. Hold on a minute. No, that won't work. That won't work. Or will it? Okay, I'm chancing this. Yeah, that worked. So if I suppress it, that means he he, the alien can only pull off one shot. It can kill him, but it won't be too bad. It's probably one of my best recruits out of all of them. Not one of my originals. Okay, right. You hide behind a hay bale and stay there. End turn. Ah crap. So that alien I went to look for just then has just done a full scale flank. Hopefully it's run out of time units, so it's stuck there. Told you he panics and an alien is on the shooting range. He wants first shot, um you know what? You get first shot. And that's all. Okay. You get second shot. And target's dead. Alright. How am I going to pull this off? I don't have an LMG to pull, up, pull that off again. Because he's down and out from reloading. I'm not sure how much accuracy I can get off that shot with a pistol. I might have to do a last minute dash and run and gun it. Okay, we've got a hit there. That's all I can do. I'm going to see if Morris can get back on time. She's Out of all the people I, ha send to send, um, I used to send back, has to be the, one of the slowest teammates I've got. Yes, I did know there was a gas cloud there. I needed to take the quicker route. Okay, I got suppression now. Um, 27, 27. I don't know if that means I can take the shot and take cover. I take that as a yes. Yeah, there we go. Let's go see what's on the other side. Okay then, that's good. That's real good. So there's nothing there, which is a good thing. So that alien was the alien. So nothing ran out and... play peekaboo for a bit. It, it actually, hang on a minute. 
Ah, oh, I can't do that now. I may have to drop the assault rifle, put a rocket launcher on, and guarantee that thing dies. Um, and turn. Okay. I have a feeling this might be like a non-combatant, which means they're not very good at running around. Okay. Shotgun to the face. <sighs> well, that's just typical. Oh, now she crouches. That's a bit late, isn't it? Okay, you crouch and take the shot. Um, you stand over, no, you stand next to her slash behind her, and take the shot. Go for 71. You run behind her with a pistol, and take the shot. There we go. Took a lot of cooperation, but it finally got put down. Okay, this is a risk, but I'm willing to take it. Is there anything else around the corner? And the answer is maybe not. Crouch just in case that answer changes. Alright. Now on the main craft. We got one, two, three aliens. Right. Sniper time. Well we got one in the open, so that's okay. We got another one in the open. No. That's the same one, so it's like a firing range. Target is down, close the door, and bugger out. Alright. <clears throat> that light machine gun may be useless from this point onwards. So I am dropping it on the floor. Actually, let's see. I don't know if that's classed as gas, no it isn't, good. Just because the shotgun's only got 8 shots, I might run out, so I'll pick up a backup one. <laughs> Can't have too many guns, can you? Okay then. That is that. You are healed. You can now heal yourself. Um, you can't run. You're, you two are snipers. You're useless, so you get back to the dropship. By useless, they can still get decent shots. They are, they're still good. It's just the fact that if they get shot at, they will become permanently useless forever. Which does mean that they are dead. Which you may have figured out. And because they're dead, I will have one less person to send into missions. Right. Let's do the same again. Oh, they've dispersed. But it's... Oh. That bullet will clip your leg. Um, 25% chance of shooting a teammate in the back. I'll take it. And there we go. It happened. Told you. Random number generators really don't like me. So now I'm pretty confident that I've wiped out every single hostile in the map after checking out this right side here and it looks all clear. So right now I'm pretty much getting everyone back to the front, so I'm sl making a way slowly but surely since some of the people are quite slow. So I'm using these snipers here to hold the line. Um, so I'm just opening the door there and seeing if the snipers can get a shot. If they can I take it, even if it's a low percentage, um, it's just to either keep them suppressed or make them think twice about moving out. So slowly moving everyone up. I'm equipping as many people as I can with shotguns. I moved up this guy here with low health and then didn't really realise it until a bit later on. Didn't really want them to raid the ship so I ended up sending them back. And um, they keep dispersing every time I 
open that door, so I can't really get decent shots on them. So people still moving up. I didn't really want to take another um, possibility of shooting the teammate in the back again because that completely um, took me by surprise. So I'd, I can't really afford to do that twice. So I dropped a shotgun there, the civilian shotgun for one of the snipers to pick up since I don't think the snipers are going to be any use at, um, from this point onwards. Send that guy back to the drop ship so he doesn't get shot at. Um, so someone there's got a shotgun, the sniper's picking one up now but he can't equip it yet. Um, to take a pistol shot, I think it was a low percentage and I managed to hit it. So yeah, that was a surprise. So, everyone's pretty much on standby to raid. It's not a lot of cover on this map, like, um, in front of the spacecraft, so I'm just grouping everyone on either side of the doors, so they can make a quick breach and clear. So, there's one shotgun loaded up, so can't do anything yet. So, I just wait a bit longer. So now I'm grouping everyone at the door itself, so if they try anything, we should get reaction fire off and everyone should be on standby for the next turn so they're ready to raid so we'll see how it goes right nope something just stayed in the open right we got one open target there a less open target there oh you've got a better shot because you're better and miss okay it's fine by me okay let's take a rifle shot on this area and a sniper shot pistol shot there we go kinda wanted to save the shotgun shot for this guy which two fails okay right let's bail someone out you can bail out you can come in you can crouch so there's no friendly fire involved oh it's the door frame okay can uncrouch and close the doors. You run around a bit for experience sake. Um, I don't know, you can run around this way and get ready. So we've got people on reaction fire, so that's okay. If that door opens, we've got a shotgunner ready to shotgun. Probably like an alien walking back and forth thinking, what's over there? So how are you guys doing? Oh, we got we lost one. It's like, no oh, sir, so how are you guys doing now? We lost another one. <laughs> Suppressive fire, good. Um so no reaction shots is a good thing. I think I might not I might bring shotguns in more um more often. As I did say, I am not a person who uses shotguns on a regular basis. If ever. I'll leave that shot. There might be a chance that she will get shot by something big. By big, I mean just a gun. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, you... <sighs> I wanted you walked in a straight line. Is that too hard to ask? Okay, Gav cattle prod wait behind that in case you're needed. You can run around a little bit more. Um, you may be needed, so you get back in there. <coughs> Worst case scenario, reaction fire will kill my teammate in the front line. That door's open. But did they run back? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh, hello there. Right. As a newbie, you are the one throwing the grenade. You can shut that door. And that door. Um, let's get some shotguns on standby in case, in case they get a bit brave. <coughs> um, 
run around. I'm just gonna get everyone else to run around for a bit. Just so I build up some time units. Well, um, we'll level up time units a bit. Um, I just get the hell out of there. We don't need a cattle prod now. Ah, and it got gassed. Right. Um, we lost one civilian, which I had no control over. The other two survived because I gassed them. So, all in all, all is well. One person took severe damage and I believe was going to die at one point. Um, someone else got shot in the back by a teammate and I forgot what happened to the other guy. Oh, he had a shield and he got shot at by something on the flank and his shield broke. So that is it. So due to the outcome of that mission, um, I don't think I can attack Crash Site 11 just because of the fact that we have quite a few injuries and there's definitely not enough time to head back to base and head out to it. So let's get everyone back home. Almost there, there we go. So I'm going to have to swap some people out. So we've got more injuries. So we got both guys are shields who need swapping out and a rifleman. Riflemen are probably the easiest to swap out since everyone seems pretty okay with rifle. Um, Corporal? Yeah, let's put him on since he's not been on yet. Just need to give him the basic equipment. Don't think ammo is too much of a problem since 20 bullets do last for quite a while unless you're burst firing every other turn. Even then, um, there's probably not enough enemies to worry about. Good chance that you won't run out of ammo. Right, uh, let's not bother with the shotgun then. Let's just stack a lot of grenades on. Oh, that's still in it. Alright. So we've got one replacement ready. Forgot to unassign them. So... You're going to need replacing as well, and same with you. That's quite a number of people. So you can go and um, you can get equipped with um, a shield. You can go straight onto the field. Um, could train up some of the privates actually. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll get, turn, use this guy as a shield man temporarily. Um, shotgun, so it can be on standby for it being assault if um, if the shield breaks and he's healthy enough to hang around. And as always, if you got a shield, you will be equipped with. Uh, the most stunning equipment possible. So that's that. And you are assigned. So that's a full squad ready. Um, I'll call it an end to this episode now. So please um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. So this is Alpha 62 signing out.